So a lot of moms we hear from ask us if we should make our own baby food, which I think is a great sentiment. Um, sounds like the fantastic thing to do, but I'm gonna tell you that if you look at it from a nutrition perspective, I cannot say that baby food made at home is gonna give us more nutrition than what we would buy off the shelf. And so I think for all of us moms that just can't seem to find the time to make our own baby food, it's okay and you're still doing a great job. So for those moms out there that wanna make their own baby food, let's talk about storing. And so when you make your own baby food, you're gonna make it in a large batch, or at least I would recommend that, because it's gonna be a lot of time up front um, and just save you time down the road. So when we make it in a large batch, maybe we freeze it in ice cube trays um, and we stick it in our freezer. And then that way, when you need baby food, you just get to go to the freezer and pull out whatever you need um, and you're ready, let it thaw, you're good to go. Um, so in that respect, you know, that can save you a lot of time down the road. So the other advantage of making your own baby food is just to have that extra variety that you could produce when you are choosing foods to make for your baby. Maybe there's foods that your family eats a lot of that you can't find on the shelves um, in the grocery store. So making your own would give you that little extra variety that you're looking for.